Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively. The present situation. Thank you. First, what are your thoughts about the present situation in the southeast the southeast i used to know was a very peaceful place where people go about their business what they are concerned about is their business an industrial hub of activities of people doing buying and selling mm. all of a sudden we begin to see a different southeast mm. what are your thoughts about the present situation in the southeast again thank you Omar. Uh, first of all uh, i don't subscribe to isolating a particular region when it comes to this issue of insecurity uh, it's a national disaster oh. nigeria is faced with serious insecurity situation in fact nigeria is at war with itself unfortunately mm. uh, so my focus on southeast i may not do justice completely Focusing on on the uh, southeast, it should be oh, the problem of insecurity in Nigeria. What are I, the issues? I know, but yeah, this, but, this... but uh, narrowing it down to southeast. First, by the opening you gave, they are not Igbo lawmakers. They are southeast lawmakers. Okay, just like people go about saying Igbo presidency, it is not Igbo presidency. It is southeast presidency. I think the media also needs to help in shaping this narrative. So that we get it right in Nigeria. Okay. What are our issues? What is the problem with Nigeria? What is the problem with the Southeast? Mm. You've rightly put it that the most peaceful part of Nigeria, yeah. even with the uh, current uh, developments and all of this, is still the most peaceful part. However, there are certain narratives that you just wonder ah, this is not about the Igbo, this is not about the Southeast. Mm -hmm. So, is it possible that we have fifth columnists? taking advantage of a certain narrative that has been painted? That's, that may be the case. Because if you ask, let's take, for instance, the issue of IPOB you mentioned. Hmm. How did it come about? Namdi Kano has always been out there since 2012. Hmm. So, oh, it didn't just happen now. He was ranting on social media, saying all sorts on social media. Hmm showing that he was terribly displeased with what was yes, happening in yes. Nigeria. Mm. And in, in fact, there's also a video of the same Nam de Kano when previously he was all about how to get Nigeria working. There's a video like that. If you mm. search for it, you'll see it online. Mm. It's there. How did he get radicalized to the level of now abandoning the nation that he has shown love to? Because the facts are there, that there were moments yes. when this same Mazin Namdekan was all about Nigeria. let's get Nigeria working. working. The fact is that there is injustice in the land. There is inequality in the land. Hmm. And people are being spanked by the day. Well, you won't spank a child and say the child should not mm -hmm. cry. So what is happening in the southeast right now is the, 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 the disservice that the current leadership has done to a certain part of Nigeria. Because ask yourself, what, what is the crime of the Southeast? That, oh, we chose, and rightfully, because the president has not shown us that, ah, we should have chosen him after all. We chose who we wanted for the good of Nigeria. Because Southeast don't hate people, we hate poverty. So we looked at what the president, the current president had represented all these years. 
when he was in office, what he represented. All this while that he has been in office, what he represents. There is, there is no government, there is no company anywhere, there is no place where you will say, oh, uh, before the president came to power, all those periods that he was uh, on sabbatical, that he was motivating or inspiring Nigerians to become great. No, no company developed by him. Only 150 cows. Every year that he comes out for election, he kept telling us that. And so, for us, we felt, no, this is not what we want for Nigeria. Because Project Nigeria, the Southeast has shown more commitment than any other zone, if you ask me. And I want to be proven wrong. If you go to every part of this country, you see the Southeastern developing, adding value. So we know what Nigeria wants. Nigeria wants an egalitarian society. Nigerians want a society that will give us a platform to express yes. the, the, the innate ability that God gave to us, not just the resources in the ground. What makes us thick as a nation is the resources in our head as Nigerians, mm. not the oil. So we did not support the coming of uh, General Muhammad Buhari in 2015. And no apologies. That became a crime. The Constitution clearly allows that you have a right to choice. We made a choice. And that became a crime. And the president didn't hide it. Even though at the inaugural speech he said it's for everybody and that he belongs to nobody, he failed in giving us what he promised. He failed in even proving us wrong. And then one day, Namdi Khan on social media puts it out there that he was coming into the country and that he was going to be in so-so place and at that so-so time. And he was there at that time and the same location. And the president, his voice went there and picked Namdi Khan up and gave him the larger than life image that he now enjoys. So President Muhammad Buhari created what we now know today as the radicalized Mazin Namdi Khan. And under his watch, the most peaceful part of Nigeria, that is the Southeast, yes. is now in chaos because of mismanagement of the interest of the people, not just any group of people, a people that have added value, that are adding value in every facet of the development of Nigeria. The Southeastern is adding value. And then you make decisions about nation building, and you think they don't care, you let think me, it's let 5%. Me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this there question. There must be, of course, reprisal let, let, let me ask you this question. You, you have just um, um, talked about how um, Namdi Kano moved from being that person who loved Nigeria, wanted Nigeria to work, and then somehow progressing to becoming so radicalized the way you put to it. The, to the option to the, of, I want out. Of, uh, yes, it, it's yes, self-determination, which is good, the right anyway. Good. The things that can, Namdi Kano, yes. or, or the people from the Southeast uh, were going through or had gone through, haven't you seen those same thing happen to other people within the the, the, the estate called Nigeria? Yeah, of course. That's why, right. are they not, why are they not, in your word, yes. ranting, clamoring, like he is clamoring <laughs> and wanting <laughs> out <laughs> of, of the establishment? That, and Namdi Kano was not elected to represent the Southeasterners. So Namdi Kano's opinion should not be seen as the No, no, if everyone... If so everyone, when you say they, I'm trying no, to say... No, no, no. If uh, everyone uh, wants can to... Can you look out for one particular person who is not ranting? There are individuals ranting in every part of Nigeria. Just like Namdi Kano is did. It's not a day thing. That's why I said, don't isolate a region mm. and give them just any, a negative name at that mm. just because you want to, you know, hang them. The truth mm. of the matter is that every Nigerian today, including the president's wife, is ranting about the ills in the land. That's a fact. Including the governor of the state where the president comes from. So it's not a southeast thing. And it's not an, an inland no thing. Mm. The issues are there. The injustice is obvious. The, the, the ineptitude of government is obvious. And because we love our country, we couldn't keep quiet. An estate will have invest, invested more than any other, any other group, blood, sweat, and money. We should keep quiet and watch Nigeria being invaded by, by, by strangers and the president who has confirmed that we have people from outside invading our land. We're looking and the president is not applying force to them. Dixon, we're looking for a way out. We're looking for a solution to what the situation is right now where outside is now yeah. I'll, I'll ask the question okay do you think where we are now there should be some form of a meeting point can we establish a dialogue between the federal government on one hand and then maybe leaders of the southeast and ipop on the other hand every war that has ever been should fought, there be a dialogue yeah, of such every war that has ever been fought usually of course for it to end must be at the conference table
Mm. There's a need for that round table to be, you know, activated. Mm. And I pray the president summons the political will to realize that, like he summoned the service chiefs to mm. say to them, I don't want to leave the office a failure. Mr. President, you are about to exit a failure if you do not bring all these interest groups to the table, especially when, it's, when the facts are, uh, are on the table that you have offered this same peaceful angle to people who have raped, maimed, killed and destroyed the, the, the inhabitants of the, the, the indigents of Nigeria. You have, you have Boko Haram um, um, uh, uh, terrorists, killers and all of that. You are using taxpayers' money one way or the other to rehabilitate them and making moves to reinstate them, reintegrate them into the society. The indigents, the citizens of Nigeria ought to be enjoying that privilege. So moments like this for what is happening in the Southeast, I am happy with the uh, caucus of the, of the Southeast in, in the National Assembly that mm. came together to propose a political solution. Indeed, yes, it has to be a political solution. And what is the political solution? First, do unto B what you did to A. It's simple. We are saying, first of all, for instance, for the good of Nigeria, as proposed by the former vice president of Nigeria, Dr. Alex Ekwemi, mm. at the Abacha conference in 1995, mm. he proposed the six geopolitical zones arrangement. The power should rotate around. And that was germane. Abacha saw it. You know, people say all sorts about Abacha. The truth of the matter is that if you look at Abacha's government thoroughly, comparing to Muhammad Buhari's government, Abacha's government had more of Nigeria's interest than this government. That's a fact. So that proposal, as by Alex Ekwemi, was adopted by, uh, by Abacha. Okay. Unfortunately, he died. And then the uh, people who uh, coined the 1999 constitution as amended, which is, of course, the greatest fraud that exists today in Nigeria, if you ask me. Those who coined it did the service to that particular thing, which ought to be how to find solution to... Because you must give everybody a sense of belonging, a sense of participation, a, a sense of ownership of their country. So, indeed, it is not just the president's thing. The political parties, particularly the two major political parties, should first of all realize there has to be a Nigeria first before there will be a contest in 2023. And the way to go about it is activate that same gentleman agreement. That gentleman agreement of let us have an understanding that power should rotate between the north and the south. And when it comes to the south or the north, you look at the zones, the pockets of the zones, and look at... And microzone it. Yes, and microzone it at that level. So 2023, clearly, the first antidote to the present tension is that power should come to the southern Nigeria. When it, come to the, it comes to the southern Nigeria, the southerners should sit down and put it, you know, the way it should be. That southeast should produce the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That way, it will give us another opportunity to renegotiate and restructure this estate called Nigeria. That not done. The truth of the matter is that Nigerians have given up on Nigeria. That's a fact. Because they are no longer government is not able to uh, to give them you, the two you, basics you, you think welfare you, and security you, you of think, the people you, is the you, basic you, reason you, of government. You, you, and in this this government, I, I hope you're not. I hope you're not trying to say that um, we, we should bribe the South East. No, it's not a bribe. With the no, 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 it's not a so bribe. That, like I've established there, and you have not countered mm, the mm. fact that this zone has shown commitment, genuine commit, physical, political, spiritual, every commitment mm. required to the mm. project Nigeria. What's wrong with rewarding loyalty? Mine is that if a group of people have shown commitment to the Project Nigeria, the best way to encourage other people who are recalcitrant presently is to reward those who are loyal. The, the, same, the, Project the, Nigeria the, the same way the, the people Project from North Central Nigeria have said they have shown even more commitment and that at, at being at the no, center no, of this you, one, there's no that, there's no zone that you will say have had more commitment to this project called nigeria than this that, that they want it that they should have it first of all first of all it is between the north and the south in fact mm -hmm. any nigerian mm -hmm. no matter where you come from whether mm -hmm. you're from the southeast or from the northeast or from the north or where, wherever you come from any nigerian that thinks that after eight years of the current administration the president muhammad Buhari's government that power should still go back to the north. That Nigerian does not mean well for this country. Hmm. That's a fact. The southern Nigeria cannot sit and be watching, especially when the failure is obvious in the, north, in the northern Nigeria. The capital of poverty in the world today is northern Nigeria. And we have had leaders come from there. So are you saying that we should reward failure? 
Let's even assume that, oh, oh uh, there's no such constitutional provision. Are you saying that common sense cannot make us reason that this is what, what we should do? So North Central should, first of all, position itself from when the power comes back to the north. At the moment, power is going back to southern Nigeria. That's the right thing to do. When it now comes to southern Nigeria, we're saying the southwest you have had eight years presidency and by 2023 vice vice would have had eight years uh south south has had two years plus vice presidency and five Nick, years Nick, plus Nick says, let me let me quickly the south let me, should be given a chance let me quickly bring you back let me quickly, let me quickly bring you back to the issue of um looking for a, a solution a political solution, you know, solution in yes. the southeast yes. uh in just, before, Nigeria. just before i let you go i'll, I'll give you this question you, you alluded to it before um, but do you think that in all of what we have seen or as we have seen in the Southeast, mm. do you think there are some people who have been sponsored, so to speak, to cause more trouble other than the IPOB in, in the Southeast? No, the truth of the matter is that uh, this thing has simply escalated because of the mismanagement of the political leaders, particularly the governors from the Southeast so much my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like i said before if you like what you see here if you like what i do in this platform as you have finished watching this video please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notification in that way you'll be able to know when i upload a new video share my videos leave your comments in the comment section constructively until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.